Your Apple Watch can be used as a remote control to take 360 photos and videos from your Insta360 camera. And yes, this works for the One R as well as the One X2. The setup is pretty straightforward. So what you need to do is on your Apple Watch, tap the digital crown so you can see all your options and then go to the App Store, then tap search. So there are two ways to search the App Store on the Apple Watch. One is to say what you're searching for and the second one is to write it. I think it's much easier to say it. So in a second, you're gonna tap the microphone button and then you're going to say Insta360. So it's gonna search for the Insta360 app. So let's do this. Insta360. Then just tap done and then it will search Insta360. And now it's brought up the Insta360 app. Now, because I've already installed it, it says open, but you're gonna see a download icon you're gonna tap the download icon and then it will download the Insta360 app to your Apple Watch. So once it's finished downloading, tap the digital crown to go back to your menu. And then over here, you'll see the Insta360 app icon. Tap the app icon. And because I've already connected my One X2, it will say to reconnect. So to connect your camera, just turn on your camera. And then once it's turned on, it will say connect, but in my case, it's reconnect. And it will automatically connect together. And once it's connected, you'll see this screen. So right now it's in photo mode, taking a 360 degree photo. So to take a photo, just tap the shutter button and it'll start capturing a photo. So this is really cool if you're doing virtual tours and you have the camera in one room and then you go and hide in another room and then you can tap the shutter button to take a photo. If you want to, you can turn on pure shot mode over here. And you can take a panoramic photo or you can take a 150 degree photo, which is basically a photo with one lens and you can swap the lenses over here. Unfortunately, you can't see a preview of what the camera sees on your Apple Watch. You only get these controls. And over here, you can change the aspect ratio and choose a self timer option. Now to go into video mode, tap the photo icon, swipe to the left and then tap standard video. So right now it's in the 150 degree video recording mode and this is recording video with one lens. I can switch the lens by tapping this button and if you tap the resolution aspect ratio in frame rate, you can choose which one you want by scrolling it up and down. Same for the frame rate. Tap 360 icon to record 360 video. You can tap the resolution in frame rate over here to change it. Again, scrolling it up and down and tap the tick to confirm. You can start a video recording by tapping the shutter button and your video will begin recording and you can tap the shutter button again to stop it. There are more video modes. So if you tap the video icon, swipe to the left to go to the video mode and then swipe up. You can also record HDR video, time-lapse video, time shift video and bullet time video. And that's all the modes and options you have on your Apple Watch. There are some limitations, like you can't set manual exposure settings, like ISO and shutter speed. You can't set a color profile like log, vivid or standard. But if you're looking for an option to start and stop recording without pushing buttons on the camera or your phone, then the Apple Watch is a really good option, especially that it's waterproof up to 50 meters.